open field. Well, if that's the case, he doesn't need to worry. But a lot of football left to be played. First down and 10 hogs. They will run it with Devil Whaley. And this is an Arkansas team that will be led by Cole Kelly at least. Dave, but also can throw expecting big things out of him in this offense. Stands in the pocket. Flag is down. Pass caught on the far side. That goes to... He's going to come in here. He wants to adapt really well to this system that Coach Morris is bringing. But he's brought that leadership. And I expect him to, to really flourish in this system. Kelly will run the football. Chad Morris telling us yesterday in the meetings that there are some troops. Morris telling us in this fourth series we would have seen Ty Story, but he gets some action here on the opening possession. Hand off to Whaley. That'll pick. Many as five guys will get some work today for Arkansas. Four-man rush. Kelly's throw is almost picked off on the outside. New SEC head coaches. Six if you count Matt Luke, who was interim a year ago. Quick throw coming out here to the near side. Deion Stewart wrapped up. Started on Thursday night with an impressive win. Cole Kelly coming near side. That pass caught by Jordan Jones. That's a pickup of Chicago just taking it, pitch and catch, moving on. Another catch by Jones. He's into EIU. To him. And this corner continues to play off down here at the bottom of the screen right here. You continue to want to watch him. Boy, clean pocket. Good coverage downfield. So Kelly has to be a home run threat for him as well. Hayden with that inside handoff. Chip ran for 120 yards against Florida A&M on just 14 carries. Little toss out to Hayden, nowhere to go. Well played by number one, Jared Cornelius here. He kind of overruns the block, and that's a great job up top by number 31, Antonio. Kelly coming near side with it. Nice open field tackle there from Cam. So takes that shot down the field. First down and 10 from just inside the 30. They'll hand it off to Whaley. He is wrapped up and thrown to the turf. Little shoulder fake. Kelly going toward the end zone. That'll be incomplete. A lot going on in the SEC as much as we can. Third down. All at 11. Kelly, all day to throw. Pass is caught around the 18. Kelly's at 6-7. And Hammonds will make the catch. And he is thrown down around the end zone addition. Nothing happening there for Chase. They are right next to the players as they run out. It's just a real intimate feel for them. I thought they were going to say their favorite part was the inside with the air. <laughs> wow, I don't know Shockley. where you're from. Are you kidding me? 130, that's not bad. No, he's a new guy. He's trying to act <laughs> tough. Over the middle pass is caught. This will be a huge gainer, a foot race down to the 35 yard. The football. Story coming near side, and this one is caught again by Jay. And he comes in with a pretty exciting moment here. Story will hand it off right side. That'll go to Whaley, and he runs into a blue wall. Playing at the linebacker position. Bobbled in the air by LaMichael Petway. Rumi has down here at the bottom just to take that. Here's Whaley. Devla trying to get it going. Run game hadn't had much of He'll run it again with Devwa. This time he'll add to the run total and get it inside the 10 for a first down. The run game starting to check up and starting to actually gain some momentum. Whaley, a couple of cuts inside the five. It'll be second. And but he is a guy that played left guard, played D-line. He is a very valuable tool up front. Story keeps it and will get it down to the one. A couple of tight ends in the game. Whaley stays in there with Story. They'll hand it to Devil Whaley. Does he get in? And they will say, yes, he does. Ty Story still in at quarterback. The second possession. 
Dumps it off underneath. That one goes to Rakeem Boyd, who the coaches. Boy, was he something else down the stretch last year. Boy, big tackle around the field. Stewart with a good play fake. Has some time over the middle. And caught for a touchdown in the end zone as he's falling down. Coming up at halftime. <laughs> for sure. Hand off on first down and 10. Left the field right after that one play. So really his third possession of this game. Batted in the air. That was... Almost caught on the near. Finished his high school career winning 29 straight games. Threw for over 12,000 yards as a prep player. That one is incomplete. First down, 10, 216 to go. Let's see how this offense works in a two-minute type situation. They'll come near side, and that goes to Jerry. Four-man rush. Story. Pass caught out around the 43, and that one goes to double, bringing him back downhill, big time completion. On first and ten, here's Story. How about a stiff arm dancing around, and he gets it into Panther territory around the 48. Until they get into live action where they actually get hit, and everything matters. Story steps up in the pocket, throwing down the middle, has a man, Petway, touchdown. Here in the last couple of possessions. Look at the eyes of Ty Story. He'll climb up in the pocket first off and then give his guy a chance. This is Petway making an outstanding route right. They play on words right there. Yeah, yeah. Story steps up, going deep. Has Jordan Jones. Passes caught. Another touchdown for the Razorbacks. 50. And lost control of their eyes. And lost control of the scoreboard as well. 38 to 6. Lou Holtz, and he just wanted his team. I don't know that, you know, you always think you're going to win, but you at least want to put up a good show. Right. You Story near side. That is through the hands of his time. Bumper pull has come in to replace Dre Greenlaw and done a great job as the handoff goes to Chase in his first collegiate game for the true freshman. Story takes it himself from two yards. What a great moment. I love how these coaches plan that as Rakeem Boyd. Family members are, who, who helped me you get through college, so kudos to Coach Morris for doing that. Story will throw. Pass is caught on the outside by Chase Harris. <laughs> Multi-year means more money. Nice catch. And throw down to the 20-yard line, and there is Chase. Give her all credit for going up and snatching that football out of the air. But a flag back around the 43-yard line, though. Chase Harrell, 6'4", 215, a little Chris Doring size right there, right? <laughs> After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 51 on the offense. Unsportsmanlike conduct on number 56 on the defense. Those fouls offset. That is the first unsportsmanlike conduct foul on 51 and 56. Dinner, it speaks volumes about him and what he wants to do. Here's Boyd. He is hit, and he will lose a couple of yards. Let's go downstairs to Dawn. Yeah, you guys talk about Yelda's switch. He told feels comfortable and is happy with where he is now. Happy to replace also a first-round pick in Frank Rag now. Here's Boyd. He's down to close to the 10. He'll be by him and how smart he is to play that position. On third and one. They'll go left side with it. Boyd getting a lot of work on this drive. Has the first down at the six-yard line. But so this is good for them to get this type of action here early in the season. Boyd breaks one tackle but can't break two. Only about a yard. Well, that was a tough read by Story. He gave it to run game in general for Arkansas. Twisting and turning in the corner of the end. A shocking storyline developing as App State trying to do it again. 
Dalton Hyatt. He can actually throw it around and make some calls. So good action here for Dalton Hyatt. They had actually said they had a little plan for him on goal line situations. Boy, not much room to run for T.J. Hammonds. Can you watch the field? That's what you want to see more of is the consistency in the run game moving that line of scrimmage. Pressure comes and a big hit. Back off. You better get it right first three weeks. Yeah, because that those four weeks there are going to be a, a story to tell. I think Chad Morrison will. What do you think about putting him back in the game? Third down and three. Four-man rush. We'll dump it over the middle. Catch is made by Chase Harrell, and that'll be good enough. Can fit into the system on both sides of the ball. I think Coach Chavis is going to do the same thing. Which guys can he depend on? And we saw today a couple times where we saw in the back end guys get beat. That way he had a good job of, of catching a bunch of deep balls today. And the O-line will continue to get better as they continue to have that continuity. Of Moore said that. He's like, we want to be a team that still can be downhill, but also we can stretch the field. Speaking of stretching the field, he's trying to do it here to hit Harrell on the far side, and that'll be incomplete. They wanted to lose some weight. Coach Craddock talked about him losing 13, 14 pounds in his offseason uh, to get to playing weight where he can be able to go fast and play with the tempo that they like. Off Tackle Brian Wallace only shed about three to five pounds. His teammates, though, told me he looks like a completely different person. Coach Carroll pointed out, went from 26% body fat to 20% body fat. There's a guy, Austin. In the OVC Conference. Came here as a freshman, walked on, but injuries forced him as a player to come in. It's corn. Gives you hope for this offense, gives you hope for this team. And I think Chad Morris has something to build on with type story. Uh, Chad Morris era here in Fayetteville with a win. 55-20 will be the final score when this one is all said and done. Cole Kelly not the 